subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to use conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. So basically change the color of a cell depending on the value within that cell. So for example, what I'm saying is I'm going to use this example. So as an educator, um, I've got a spreadsheet here with two columns. And as an educator, obviously, I've got the assessment data, pupils assessment data in this spreadsheet. So in column K, I've got their pupil names, obviously for um, data protection, GDPR. I've um, changed the pupil names for this video and in column L I've got the grades that they achieved based on their recent most recent assessment which they did now obviously the the good thing about conditional formatting as they call it in Excel is the color of this cell will change depending on the value within that cell but you've got to set this up initially so whatever they achieve the color will change so this is what I'm going to show you obviously if you've got a big long spreadsheet and you want to change the color manually you can do that using the fill bucket tool here but then if obviously after moderation or if you want to change some values later on you will have to change the colors manually but so this way using conditional formatting you are a the color will change automatically based on the value so that's what I'm going to show you now before I continue with this video please like this video please subscribe to my channel please share this video with your friends and family please support my channel that will be great and I will be ever so appreciative of that so first and foremost what you need to do is highlight the cells you want the conditional format it to take obviously into account here so I've highlighted all my cells here so those are the assessment data grades now at the top here in the ribbon go to the home tab at the top which has already been selected scroll down scroll across to the right side with your mouse and choose conditional formatting here now this conditional formatting option will easily spot trends and patterns in your data using bars colors and icons to visually highlight important values and that's what conditional formatting does now click on that now when you click on that or left click that you will see a drop down menu which will appear now obviously you can do it the easy way where you highlight the cell rules based on what you want the colors to change to so if, if a specific cell is greater than a specific number you can change the color according to that less than between equal so you can play around with these um, options here there's a top and bottom rules here so you can choose the top 10 items top 10 percent so on and so forth you can um, change data bars color scales icon sets you can add um, but the three at the bottom is what I'm going to focus on today so you, I'm going to add a new rule there's an option here where you can clear the rules you've added so you can clear rules from selected cells you can clear rules from the entire sheet and you can manage existing rules as well so I'm going to click on new rules because that's what we're going to do so new rule here it will open up this drop down box here this pop up box I should say and the one option I'm going to choose the rule type is the second one so I'm going to format the cell um, that contain a specific value so when I click on that second option there in the description this is where I need to add my bits of information so format only cells with where the cell value and now I'm going to choose if the cell value is less than four I want it to change to a different color so the color I want if it's less than four so if they get a three or a two I want it to change the color of that cell to red so in the format option here click on the format button here it will bring up this pop-up box and I'm going to simply choose the color red click OK and then click OK again and what it does it will detect which values are either a three or a two and it will change those colors to red accordingly again go back to conditional formatting again go down to new rule because I'm going to add a different rule this time this one is again second option rule type this one if my cell value here is between three and six so if it's four and five so 
So we put three in there and five in here. Six in there, I should say. The format of that is going to be orange. Click OK. Click OK. It's added the six in there. I thought it might have done that. So I'm going to go back. Conditional formatting. I'm going to manage the rule. I'm going to change my rule accordingly. So at the moment, the cell value is between three and six. So what I should say is if it's between four and five. So I think it includes the fours um, and the fives in there. So edit rule. That's the rule I want to change. Click on edit. Go back in here. So go to four and five. So that will include four or five as well. So those come under one rule. There you go. So fours and fives are now orange. So sevens and eights, again, I want them to be a different color. And the nine, are, oh, sorry, six and sevens, one color. Eights and nines, I'm going to have a different color. So six and seven, same procedure applies. Conditional formatting, new rule again. The second option here, between six, it will include the number six and seven. It will include the number seven format. I'm going to do a light green there. Click OK. OK again. Yeah, and make sure the same values are highlighted again. Follow the same procedure, conditional formatting, new rule one more time. Click the second option. And now this time, what I'm going to do, instead of between anything which is greater than seven, so the eights and the nines, I'm going to format those colors to dark green. Click OK. Once you're happy, and there you have it. So the twos and threes are one color. The fours and fives are different. Seven, six and sevens are a different color. Eights and nines are a different color. That's just an easy way to show you how conditional formatting can be used. Now, if you want to manage those rules, highlight the cells that you've affected there. Go to conditional formatting. Go to manage rules. And you can change the rules which you have set up. So if you don't like the color of this one, highlight the rule, click on edit rule, and then change the information format here or whatever you want. It's a basically most of it is just trial and error and see what you can get or gain from this conditional formatting. It's so powerful if it's used correctly. This is just a basic video showing you how to use the basics of conditional formatting. Click on cancel. Now <clears throat> Another thing I'm going to show you, so for example, let's say this pupil B achieved a grade 4, but after moderation you found that actually it shouldn't have been a 4, it should have been a 3, you want to change the grade to a 3. This is what I was saying, how conditional formatting becomes useful. If I change that grade to a 3, you can see the colour automatically changes once you change that colour to a 3. So that's how powerful and useful conditional formatting is. So let's say they got a grade 9, you can change it to a 9, the colour will change to a, a green there, obviously showing that the colour has changed or the value has changed to a 9. One other thing I'll need to show you before I, um, I end this video, highlight the cells. If you want to completely clear the rules, go to conditional formatting again, go to clear rules. You can either, there's two options that appear, clear rules from selected cells or clear rules from your entire sheet if you want to start from scratch again. So let's say I wanted to start from scratch again. You go to clear rules from entire sheet and what it should do, it will remove all the rules. So if I go to manage rules now, there are no rules there to to um, to edit or you know change because I've cleared them all. Now again, one more time, highlight the cells you want the conditional formatting to affect or impact. Go to conditional formatting at the top, choose the options you want. And it's a really good tool to use um, to change the values of the cell or change the color of the cells depending on the values in there. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.